Hey everybody, thanks for stopping and watching the video today. I appreciate your time. Today I'd like to talk about a microphone, and this is a very special microphone. It's a very low-cost microphone, but it's probably the industry workhorse. You see this in all the world-class studios. Let me repeat that. You see this in all the world-class studios. You'll see this on tour out in the road. You'll see this in churches. You'll see this everywhere. This is a great microphone. I'm talking about the Shure SM57. This is probably the most popular microphone in the world. And if I'm wrong, then it's this one right here. It's the Shure SM58. These two microphones basically are cousins or brothers. They have the same cartridge in them. They sound very similar. However, as you can see, this one has a little bit larger pop filter windscreen on it than the SM57. But I'd like to concentrate specifically on the 57 today and cover a couple of items that I think are very important and hopefully will answer a couple of questions that you might have. First off, let me talk about the price of this microphone. This microphone, like I said, was extremely inexpensive, still is, has been in production for quite a long time, but this microphone can be purchased brand new for under $100. You see them used occasionally on eBay or places like that, and it's very rare that you'll see them for $50 or $60. Usually I see them go for $70 or $80 when they're being sold for used. When you're paying that much for used, I would just recommend you go ahead and buy a brand new one. At that price, saving $20 is not really worth it. In fact, you would probably get a free mic pouch, mic cable, and the clip and everything like that. And if you order from some of the online retailers, or just get it locally, you'll get free shipping anyway. That way you'll get the warranty. This is an extremely durable microphone. It can take a lot of punishment. It's an American-made microphone. And I've had this microphone for a good 20 or 30 years now, and I expect to have it for another 20 or 30 years. It really is a, is a hard knock in mind. You'll see this microphone very common for guitar amps, and so therefore you'll see it just shoved right up into the grill of a, of a roaring Marshall stack. Uh, this microphone is also extremely popular on snare drums. In fact, you probably don't realize this, but in all the major recordings that you've heard on the radio or CDs or your favorite songs, this microphone was probably the microphone that was used on the snare drum. I don't want to get too technical about the microphone in this particular video. I'll cover a couple of items here, but I will have another video down the line that I will get more specific about types of microphones and pickup patterns and such. But I do want to just briefly cover about the pickup pattern of this microphone. This is a dynamic microphone and it has a cardioid pickup pattern. Look at my little picture here and you'll see the cardioid has a heart shaped pattern here. And that means that the sounds coming into the front of the mic and this is the front of the mic. So I would speak into it like this. It's not a side address mic here uh, like some condensers or that you might see but you would speak directly into the front of it so sounds coming into the front of it are going to be received at full volume the sounds coming into the side and specifically the sounds coming into the back side of the mic will be attenuated and they won't be received nearly as loud as what's coming directly in front of it this is extremely useful when you're singing live and you've got a floor monitor down here that that way that the sound from the floor monitor doesn't come back and bleed into the mic and create feedback also in the studio it's important see my hand as a snare drum i've got my mic coming in and honing in just perfectly on the snare drum the snare is just going to come ripping right through the mic here and this mic can handle that kind of sound pressure level without a problem but typically on most drum kits, they'll have a set of hi-hats off right off next to the snare drum or even some rack toms that are very close proximity. And that means that this mic is going to receive the sound off the snare drum a lot better than it's going to receive the hi-hats coming into the side or the same for the tom-toms coming into the side. So it's very useful to single out what you really want to have coming in on this mic. Now, yes, you will get some bleed from the other items coming in the other times or a hi-hat coming in but it's going to be at such a reduced volume and it's also going to be coming in at a at a good frequency response that's very similar to what's coming into the front so that's very important too let me just say one more thing about this microphone because even though this microphone is low cost and you see this in world-class studios 
The low cost makes this extremely desirable for home use or in your project studio or in your own personal studio. If somebody were to ask me what would be the first microphone should I get, without a doubt I would say get the Shure SM57. This microphone could probably record your entire band and do a great job. If you were multi-tracking and doing one instrument at a time, you could go ahead and record your acoustic guitar with it then do your vocals. You could even just set it out in front of a drum kit and record the entire drum kit and still get a great sound. You could put it in front of a bass amp or, or mic up whatever other sources that you have and do them individually using the same mic on each track and you should be able to get fantastic results. That's really about all I wanted to stress about this particular microphone. It's a great mic. I would pick this one up first, like I said, if you had a second choice, I would go ahead and get the SM58. And like I say, I'm going to go ahead and do a video comparing these two and talking a little bit more in depth about the two, why they're so similar and why they're so different. But on this video, I just wanted to really get the point across. This is your first mic here. If you're starting to build a mic locker, this is your first mic, without a doubt. Thanks for checking out the video. Please subscribe. It really will help you to know when new videos come out. And I thanks for your time for watching this video. We'll catch you next time.